Tonight, the NTSB investigating a rare incident of fatal turbulence. A passenger on a private business jet killed. Uh, this is a tower with a medical emergency. Landing runway six, possible uh, laceration requesting medical assistance on the runway. The Bombardier Challenger 300 jet departing from Keene, New Hampshire Friday afternoon with three passengers and two crew members on board en route to Leesburg, Virginia. Around 4 p.m. local time diverting to Bradley Airport in Connecticut for a medical emergency after experiencing severe turbulence. Severe turbulence is when things are being thrown about the cabin. That's when people get hurt, when they get bounced around the cabin, land and either get lacerations, broken bones, and in worst case, death. The NTSB now interviewed Interviewing those who survived and analyzing the jet's cockpit recorders to figure out how this happened. Turbulence can be uncomfortable, it can be scary, but really the only time turbulence is dangerous is if you're sitting in the cabin of an airplane without a seat belt on. The tragedy comes just days after this Lufthansa flight from Austin, Texas to Frankfurt, Germany experienced violent turbulence in the middle of meal service. Food and silverware scattered across the cabin. All of a sudden, we lifted up. And then we started dropping down really fast. It felt like about five seconds of free fall. The plane diverting safely to Washington's Dulles Airport. The airline says seven passengers suffered minor injuries and the aircraft was also damaged. Kansas City-based telecommunications company Connexon confirming to ABC that they own the plane, saying that the person who died was not an employee of the company. Rena Roy, ABC News, Newark Liberty International Airport.